Welcome back to The Blend. We all know Raising Cane's chicken fingers for cooking up delicious, high quality food. But did you know when summer temps start cooking, Raising Cane's is giving back to help make wishes come true. That's right, here to explain. They're a strong initiative, which is called 100 Degrees of Summer, is the mm. president and founder of MRG Marketing and Management, Justin Micatrato. Also with us is Wish Kid Connor Schriever. It's great having both of you. How are you guys? Good morning. Doing Hi. very well. Let's Welcome talk, in. Let's talk about this initiative, the 100 Degrees of Summer initiative that you have going on. This is a, oh. the hot temperatures stink, but you make it a lot better. Well, you know, we're not going to feel as good as we do this Monday necessarily, like we did after the, the night's win yesterday. But next Monday, we kick off 100 Degrees of Summer, so there'll be something to cheer about and uh, raise $100, $100 every single time it hits at 100 degrees from uh, Monday through Labor Day. Fantastic. I love that. Yeah. It's so great. Who's benefiting this year? Uh, Make-A-Wish uh, is, is a great charity that we've worked with with several uh, several areas, not just on the 100 Degrees of Summer, but some other stuff. But Make-A-Wish Southern uh, Nevada is absolutely a deserving organization. And absolutely. a lot of money's been, been raised over uh, over the years with Make -A for Make-A-Wish, hasn't it? Much like the hot of the summer, you try to wipe it out of your mind. So I'm trying to remember the tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> I'm trying to let it go. But, but yeah, it's, it's been over tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, we, we Last year, it was, I believe, 72 or 73 three days all together. Uh, wow. We rounded it up to about $8,000 and uh, you know, let's bring on the heat and get another hot summer. Awesome. Wow. All right, Connor, have you participated in this? Have you witnessed the Raising Canes <laughs> program? It, it's amazing for me because every day that it's over 100 is, you know, challenging mm -hmm. for people. Mm -hmm. It's hot around the valley, yeah. and especially as they go on. And yet we find ourselves wishing that more and more days would be over 100 because we're raising more yeah. money. Yeah. Uh, tell us about your experience with Make-A-Wish and how, how it's changed your life. Um, well, I got to meet Harrison Ford. No wow. kidding! Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't fly with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but otherwise a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> what, was it, what was it like? It was awesome. Like, I got to go in his planes. We didn't fly it because it was really... It was, there was Probably a big storm yeah. outside. Yeah. But it was awesome. Oh man, yeah. it's it's just it's it's incredible. Did you talk? To, are you a big Star Wars fan? Yeah, I'm a huge Star Wars oh, fan. Oh, see those eyes? Wow. <laughs> did, yeah, did, episode, did episode seven break your heart? Like it broke my heart. Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> but you got to have that moment with him, which is so yeah. cool. Man, oh man, that's great. Mm, cool. That's so so. You're why why did you decide with Make a Wish? I well, the, you know the the great thing about Make a Wish, obviously, they're making you know kids' dreams come true. It's yeah. that it's that kick in the pants. It's that inspiration more than it is you know anything other than that. And so from a standpoint of getting our crew members to kind of get to see firsthand, whether it's a wish reveal, whether it's prepping for a wish reveal, or just seeing some of the kids on events, we do kickoff nights and stuff like that. So yeah. when we've done different events, we've gotten to meet a lot of young you know phenomenal young men and women and see them grow. Um, and when you stay <coughs> committed to a group year in and year out, you get to see that process. And so we've seen some remarkable young men and women through Make-A-Wish. Our crew members Aww. and those kids, frankly, have seen it, which is more important. And Fantastic. so they take that lesson, you know, whether they're still working for Canes or down the road. That's awesome. Right, yeah. absolutely. They didn't really kick you in the pants, did they? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so oh, thank goodness. Just figure of speech. Yeah. And we really should talk about the chicken because mm -hmm. I every year about this time, I look forward to this day. Because this, I do. <laughs> Nothing goes better on a hundred degree today than a chicken so finger we'll, we'll fresh out of Well, no, it's right perfectly cloudy. It's like a, it's a perfect day for this. No, but the smell of this chicken right now is like permeating the entire studio. Mm -hmm. It's the can so, sauce. A yeah. real smart oh. TV would be able to get smell out into it's, the living room. Yeah. I think at this. We're point. working on that here. At <laughs> but, that, but then I'd have to shower every day. And no one wants that. Uh, <laughs> uh, the cane sauce, though, it's all about the cane mm. sauce. Uh, so this is going running through Labor Day, uh, mm -hmm. and, and this is just like one of the many initiatives that you guys have going mm -hmm. on throughout the years. Yeah, we've worked with them on a, a dollar donation campaign. We actually just wrapped that up for another group. But a couple times a year, we'll you know ask for a dollar. But a lot of times during the year, our Community Strong initiative really is about getting our crew members out there and doing something in the community. So it's not just about writing big checks and doing that kind of thing. It's showing them that, hey, you're going to get impacted by these lives just like us. And so, right. you know, whether it's volunteering on the restaurant level out in the community or doing something as a company, there's a lot of Canes crew members out there doing stuff every month. And I'm proud to That's say that. That's phenomenal. It is. And I bet it's really rewarding for those folks, too, to be able to step outside work and connect with the community. Well, I mean, just, I was at something about a week or two ago when somebody comes up, hey, how are you graying out? They did such a good job. They're so efficient. They do it again. I, was, I had no idea they were doing it. <laughs> but that's, like, the, I mean, that's truly take, you know, teach a man to fish and they go do it on their own and they're Aww. able to sustain that kind of connection. So thankfully, we've had that opportunity. That's awesome, phenomenal. man. We have about 15 seconds left. Did Harrison say anything about Indiana Jones coming back? Um, not really. No. Ah. Oh. 
Our 80s kids, we're dying for it. We want one <laughs> yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, it's good. great having you guys. Thank great you so much. You. Happy nice to, to meet you, buddy. Love nice it. All you. right. You know what? You're going to be hoping for the hot temperatures. Memorial Day through Labor Day, Raising mm -hmm. Cane's Chicken Finger is going to donate $100 for each day that we crack 100 degrees to make a wish of Southern Woo. Nevada. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers is a proud sponsor of Las Vegas Morning Blend. Their website is listed and details on their food can be found there as well. Their sauce is the boss. Uh, <laughs>